Understanding Zone Fare, a guide for travelers. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English learning series. Today, we're going to talk about a phrase that often puzzles those who travel, zoned fare. If you've taken public transportation or traveled between different parts of a city, this is a concept you might have come across. So, let's dive in and demystify this term together. The term zoned fare refers to a pricing method used in public transport that divides a service area into zones. A fare is the money you pay for a trip, and in a zoned fare system, this cost varies depending on how many zones you travel through or if your travel is within a specific zone. It's a bit like paying for shipping on a package. The farther it goes, the more you pay. Zoned fares are created for a few reasons. Fare pricing, charging based on distance makes it fair for all passengers. Those who travel short distances pay less than those who travel long distances. Operational efficiency, it helps transport companies plan routes and schedules based on demand for each zone. Regulation of traffic, higher fares for longer distances can discourage people from taking unnecessary long trips during peak hours. In practical terms, let's say you're in London using the tube. The city is divided into nine travel zones, with zone one being the central area. If you travel from zone one to zone three, your fare will be different than if you travel within zone one only. This also applies to buses, trains, and some taxis in other cities with a zoned fare system. Calculating your fare in a zoned system can seem tricky, but it's quite straightforward once you understand the basics. 1. Identify your zones, find out which zones your start and end point fall into. 2. Check the pricing, look at the fare chart, usually available at stations or online, which lists prices from zone to zone. 3. Consider time of day. Fares can vary at peak, busiest, times versus off-peak times. 4. Discounts and passes. Check if there are any discounts or travel cards that offer unlimited travel within certain zones for a fixed price. I hope this explanation helps you understand zoned fares and how they affect your travel plans. It's always useful to know this when visiting a new city or even understanding your daily commute costs better. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more language learning content. Safe travels and see you in the next video.